this is part 49 of ASP.NET MVC tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss what's HTML encoding, why would you HTML encode, and how to avoid HTML encoding in ASPX and Razor views. Please watch part 48 before proceeding. We'll be working with the same example that we worked with in part 48. So, what's HTML encoding? HTML encoding is the process of replacing ASCII characters with their HTML entity equivalents. For example, replacing this less than symbol, which is an ASCII character, with its HTML ent entity equivalent ampersand LT semicolon, similarly greater than with ampersand GT semicolon, etc. So the next question is, why would somebody want to HTML encode? This is to avoid a security threat called cross-site scripting attack. So what's cross-site scripting attack? We'll discuss cross-site scripting attack in detail in a later video session. But for now, understand that to avoid cross-site scripting attacks, all output is automatically HTML encoded in an MVC application. But sometimes it's necessary that we want to disable or avoid this automatic HTML encoding. And there are three ways to do that. Okay, these are the three techniques that are listed, you know, both for Razor and ASPX views. The first technique is that strings of type IHTML string are excluded from this automatic HTML encoding. Okay, let's actually understand that with an example. In part 48, we have implemented um, image custom HTML helper. And if you remember, this image custom HTML helper returns, look at that at the moment it's returning a string and this is of type system.string and these strings are not excluded from HTML encoding and where are we using this image HTML helper? We are using that within this details view to render the photo of the employee but because strings of type system.string are not excluded from HTML encoding and this method is returning HTML string you know, a string which contains HTML. When we navigate to the details view, notice that instead of rendering the employee's photo, it simply displays, you know, that encoded HTML for us. So if I right click on that and view the page source, and then if we navigate all the way down, notice that we have this HTML encoded, that less than symbol with ampersand LT semicolon, greater than symbol with ampersand GT semicolon and then this double quote with ampersand QOT semicolon and then this is the closing double quote which is again encoded to ampersand QOT uh, semicolon okay so here the HTML is encoded but we don't want you know the automatic HTML encoding to happen and one way to avoid that from happening is to change the return type of that image a custom HTML helper method from string to I HTML string so let's flip to Visual Studio and within our custom HTML helper we can change this to IHTML string that's an interface and and there are several classes which implements that interface for example MVC HTML string class implements that interface so we need to wrap this inside that object and then return that so let's return a new MVC HTML string and then to that let's pass the string. Let's build the solution and keep in mind strings of type IHTML string are excluded from automatic HTML encoding. So when we refresh this we should have the employee's photo instead of displaying that encoded HTML. Notice that we have the employee's photo there. Okay. So strings of type IHTML string are excluded from automatic HTML encoding. And the second way is to actually use this HTML.raw function. Let's say, you know, our function here within this custom, this image, uh, custom HTML helper, let's say this is still returning string. And let's return string instead of MVC HTML string. Let's build the solution and let's refresh this view. And as you might expect, it should display the encoded HTML instead of rendering the image. Okay, notice that we have the encoded HTML there. Now, the other way to avoid this automatic HTML encoding is basically to use um, raw HTML function. So, at HTML dot raw. 
and look at this again this raw function what is it returning back it's returning i html string that's why it will not be html encoded it's as simple as that so let's build this and let's refresh this view and obviously this will render the employee's photo okay so both in Razor and ASPX views, you know, these techniques are supported. And one other technique which is specific to ASPX views is you can use this angle bracket percentage equal to syntax. Okay, now let's actually delete this ASPX or rename this, uh, um, you know, Razor view to something like one dot one details. And then let's go to our home controller and add an ASPX view. So right click on the action method, add view. Uh, the view name is going to be details. We're going to make use of ASPX view engine and we want to create a strongly typed view against our employee model class and let's select this careful template as details and let's add that. So this has generated the details view for us and notice that you know the syntax that we have at the moment is let's actually get rid of these action links from there and notice the syntax to you know for this code to generate this code you know this code is wrapped inside the syntax angle brackets percentage colon okay now this syntax will automatically HTML encode at the moment um, you know our custom image HTML helper it's returning strings of type system dot string so now let's actually get rid of this div and then here we are using display for but we want to use our custom uh, image HTML helper so let's go ahead and import the namespace so let's import the namespace and the namespace within which our custom HTML helper is living in is MVC demo dot custom HTML helpers okay so let's use our helper method which is at HTML dot image and we need to specify the source which is model dot photo and the alternate text is going to come from model dot alternate text okay let's build this and let's refresh this details so now this should make use of that ASPX view uh, instead of the razor view okay notice that you know we have the encoded HTML again that's because by default you know this syntax angle bracket percentage colon is going to HTML encode the output okay if you don't want that encoding to happen obviously there are several ways you can use HTML dot raw function here you know just pass the output of this one to HTML dot raw which is going to return I HTML string and that will be excluded from HTML encoding. So let's build this and let's refresh this view. Now the employee's photo should be rendered. That's expected. Or what you can do is use the same thing, you know, whatever uh, this function is returning. This is returning a string. But instead of using this syntax, I can simply use angle bracket percentage equals. Again, this will not HTML encode. So now if we go ahead and refresh this, you know you'll have the same output look at that the photo is still rendered okay so there are several techniques to avoid this HTML encoding all right on this slide you can find resources for ASP.NET C Sharp and SQL Server interview questions that's it for today thank you for listening have a great day